Hello, what is up everyone? Sun Love and Solaire here with uh, Monster Hunter World video. And uh, this one is about the Gunlance. Now, the Gunlance is apparently one of the lower end of the spectrum weapons in terms of how many people use it. And, uh, well, I don't fucking get it. Gunlance is absolutely phenomenal. In my personal opinion, it's one of the highest DPS weapons with the least skills actually involved in the DPS. All you really need to make the gun lance work is, uh, well, artillery and capacity boosts. And even then, capacity boost is just an added bonus. If you want eternal DPS as well, since, you know, the attack boost doesn't matter, augment the gun lance for health regen however many times you can. Three might be overkill. So if you are using a blue rarity gun lance, just, just go with two, and then, I don't know, put on a decoration slot or something, or defense if you actually care about that. But uh, I just wanted to go over why the gun lance is amazing. And starting with that first thing, the detail of it maxes out the damage of shelling uh, with artillery. Art artillery and the food skill feline bombardier, but if I'm being perfectly honest, the bonus isn't really all that worth it uh, for constant use of vouchers. So, mainly just focusing on artillery. A wide level 4 gun lance does, I think it's like 62, 63 damage. Uh, with each shell, regardless of where it hits. You know how Kushala Delaware's wings seem to have the most indestructible uh, defenses in the world? Yeah, Gunlance still does full damage with the shells there. And not only that, it doesn't lose any damage until it gets below green sharpness, meaning Handicraft doesn't even really freaking matter. On top of that, it's one of the most destructive in terms of breaking parts that aren't tails. That's the only downside, really. I, I, I don't break tails with this thing, but I'll break every monster's horn, back, legs, claws, whatever the fuck. If it's not a tail, I will break it with, this, with my gun lamp setup. But, uh... I'm using the Cold Taroth, the Taroth Buster Bomber gun lance because it is, as far as I know, the only wide gun lance that's level 4 in the game. Wide gun lances are my favorite, but all of them are good. Well, if you get them up to level 4, which there's, as far as I know, only one normal gun lance that's level 4 and one long gun lance at level 4 besides ones you get from Cold Karaf. So yeah, look at that. My sharpness is down to orange. And I'm still doing 50 damage per shot. Generally, how I like to use gun lance, if you haven't been paying full attention with what I do, I'll normally uh, stab, shoot, stab, and then shoot twice before I do the quick reload. As long as you're uh, not trying to shoot more than twice in a row, that's a good combo. Because the game will only let you do two normal shots in a row. Try to do a third one and you'll do the wyvern stake instead. Which, honestly, it, it can be useful, very situationally. But, uh, look at that. Teos is already running away in this clip. Already running for his life. It's been like five minutes. Less than five minutes, actually. Uh, and this is tempered Teostra. And I'm just absolutely demolishing him. I don't remember if I actually used the Mega Potion in this. 
I don't think I did. So yeah, Tempered Elder Dragon without using healing items, purely because I'm recovering like 20% of all the damage I deal, and I'm dealing that much damage that quickly that I never need to heal. So yeah, just wanted to go over that the gun lances are actually really freaking amazing. Have a wonderful day.